Mr. President, before I even start my presentation, I think that there are some things that does need a little clarity um, as we move forward. The first is the whole concept of no new taxes. That's been a big debate. I don't know why it is so important, because it don't seem to be a political point for the voters. The voters don't seem to be acting upon the promise of no new taxes. And the last election um, in the 26th of February would suggest that, having said it a million times, it was a very little moment. And there is some confusion as to who won the last election. Just today, we hear over that side said that they won the election. Mm -hmm. And over this side said that we won the election. I think the only fair solution is a rematch. Uh. <laughs> so they should call the general, general election. election. Yes. And let us see who really won the election. That's right. That's we don't want the quarrel, quarrel, quarrel. Because I remember the night of the election, our side was happy, mm -hmm. and their side was sad. So therefore, it seemed they were happy. They were sad that they won. And they would suggest that we were happy that we lost. But <laughs> the second thing I want, and this is important for us to consider, is the whole productivity conversation. The productivity conversation is somewhat misplaced in Jamaica because we fail to acknowledge that service economies often report lower productivity. In economics, it's called the Bommel disease. The Jamaican Labour Party are so afraid of Damien Crawford that whenever he get up to make a speech, they would cow him down not to say anything. They always try to keep him on the back burner. I knew that a lot of people underrate Damien Crawford. But you see, Damien Crawford is a very, very intelligent young man that mean Jamaica good. You know, a lot of people come into politics and them don't mean um, Jamaican people no good. Damien Crawford is one of those people that mean the Jamaican people good. Now, I am going to play a video with Damien Crawford, my people, and you're going to see that the Jamaican Labour Party are afraid of Damien Crawford for some reason. You understand me? I say, no, Damien Crawford now nah, go give him a chance to cow him down in this video. Bless up to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. I hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful morning. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, remember, in everything you do, Always put God first in every or uh, any situation. Just always remember to call upon God. Always remember to pray because a prayer day keep the devil away. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, we have a lot coming up inside this update. So, we now go waste too much time. So, guess what? Make we run the intro and come back. We soon forward. So welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers them. Big up to all of my viewers, big up to all of my subscribers them. We continually support the channel and help the channel to grow. Now, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Alright, now remember to share the content to a friend or family. I love one. Share it on your social media platform as well. Now, this video is a very lengthy video. And I am asking you guys to watch this video until the end. Because you're going to learn a lot from this video. Now, Damien Crawford is the person inside this video. So, let us go right now and check it out. Listen up. We have before us the most critiqued state of emergency by the government side. That well, is Senator, saying, Senator, you know, I don't want to interrupt you. Please don't. But in the interest, no man, in the interest of fairness and honesty, what you are reading from is a policy paper. 
you need to read the Smith Commission report on the 76 oh. state of emergency. That's what you are to read. No, what you need that to do to is to WhatsApp your group no, and tell them what to the read. That is what you need to do. Has you corrupt. cannot tell me That's what you with all due respect. You want to tell me you how to vote, you how to think, you how to read, how to speak? I can't tell you that. You don't involve yourself to do that. You all I can must do, strike that from the record all I can do is tell and put it in the WhatsApp group. All I tell can them do. what to read, they have read nothing. <laughs> so you go and tell them what all to read. All I can do is tell the people of Jamaica not to be misled. I don't want anything more, Mr. Misled. President, with due respect. You read the Smith you Commission. You cannot intervene. Where they were signing blank detention, Listen, blank detention, I order and lock up. I want to know up, from you, Mr. Up President. And lock up my Grange. Listen. With blank detention farm. That you for read. Mr. President. And Lambert yes. Ground, you don't even bother start because you no, walking on very sticky ground. Yes, all right, I hear you. What I want, Mr. President, if these numbers are untrue, if you're suggesting that a government, which this document is from the government, is willing to be untruthful in the number of guns found, is willing to be untruthful in the number of persons arrested and charged, then why should we feel that you are totally truthful on that side if you are suggesting that this document is not worthy of being read? Why is it that we should think so? But because I wasn't born in 1976, I will move forward to 2018, a period for which I was an adult. In 2018, Mr. President, January, Matthew was there? January 2018, the government put forward that there was a need for a state of emergency. Before that, Mr. President, in August, sorry, in May 2010, in advance of the attempts to arrest Christopher Doddeskook, an extradition warrant, a state of emergency, was declared by Prime Minister Goldie. Now let us not forget with all the accusations about who is for and who is not for criminal activity. The greatest defense by a person suspected of criminal engagement was made by the government of the Jamaica Labour Party in 2007. They went as far as to hire lawyers and lobbyists on his behalf. None of them can claim that I, because the Prime Minister was a senior member of the Jamaica Labour Party, the leader of government business, and a member of the cabinet who made those decisions to defend what the United States referred to as one of the greatest violence producers in the Western Hemisphere. You cannot compete nor compare with me. But in 2018, Prime Minister Andrew Holness declared a public state of emergency in St. James, attributed it to increase in crime and violence in the parish. The Prime Minister said that the level of criminal activities experienced in St. James is of such a nature that, and, and so extensive in scale so as to engender public safety. He said in 2017, St. James recorded 335 murders, almost twice more than the parish with the second highest murder in the same period. It has been given to the public that the opposition has never supported the government in a state of emergency. Much to my anxiety and to many of us in debates, the opposition said, give the government the leeway to do what the government was elected to do. It was extended 2017, January 30th. With full support from the opposition, they receive an extension 2018, January 30th. It was then again extended May 2nd, 2018, with full support of the opposition, another three months. It was then again extended July 27th, with another three months to November 1st. It was then again extended October 19th, with another extension to January 31st. And then it continued in 2019. We stopped in, in December. It come back in 2020 and 2021. Multiple extensions were granted. 
I knocked on the call on him. But I remember one senator who was going to be absent from that side. Called to ask someone from this side. If they would be willing to give the vote on his behalf. And that was done. And that was granted. That was cooperation from us as the opposition. While we were extending St. James, in March 2018, there was also another state of emergency. It says on Sunday, March, 20, March 18, 2018, Prime Minister Holness declared a state of public emergency in St. Catherine North Police Division, especially Spanish town, Linstead and Bargwalk. The basis of the declaration was a spike in murders in these areas. This was extended again in March 2018, extended again June 26, 2018, where the Prime Minister said, the next phase of our operation is not so much to go and detain the cornermen. The next phase of the operation is to use the space created and networks that we have uprooted to get to the mastermind and the kingpins. We are in different phase and you will start to see the impact in months to come. Start, stated the Prime Minister. Therefore, the opposition extended it again in September 2019, September 2018, and this time extended to January 2019. Because the Prime Minister never said in decades to come. He never said in years to come. We figured that if you get a next three months, then the months to come should be clear to us what you were doing. We are right back in St. Catherine. Seeking another state of emergence. Another state of emergence. I don't know which commission I must read for that one. In September 23rd, 2018, the government of Jamaica declared a state of emergency in Central and downtown Kingston. It's about three or four gone already in 2018. The public must understand that they're seeking seven parishes Five in full to catch 300 people. 2.7 million people. 300 what kind of people? It's because I know that you are innocent until proven guilty. You have to capture him and then prove that he's a criminal. But once you have enough intelligence, I will support you go to capture. What I don't support is that you punish an entire community to capture people who are no longer in the community because all the other states of emergency did not achieve what you claim it will achieve now. All the other states of emergency did not achieve. So why can't I look at historical trends and outcomes and say to myself as an academic a statistician, a mathematician, a logical person, that if it never worked here one, two, three, four, five, it now work here six. Why can't I? Me not take no back of the class disruption today. No back of the class disruption. I soon come to that. Central Kingston downtown, market district including Denham Town, Zones of special operation. There was in Denham Town 2018 a state of emergency and a zone of special operation at the same time, and we're right back there. Why do you think so nobody else has no sense? Why do you feel that I cannot recognize that you're asking for me to join in a game of political football to mask your general incompetence? Why is it that nobody don't think that we see that? And I should feel ashamed when I'm not a part of this political football, not a part of the World Cup. Sir so President, <laughs> let us look at what has happened in recent time. Let's talk about 70%. Had I known all this time, 2018, when we asked for the crime plan, Senator Donna Scott Motley, you'd have remembered. 2017. Yes. And in 2018, I was admonished by Senator some more that I never read the document. Having read the document, it had no tenet of what a plan should include. It had no objective, it had no nothing. 
the Prime Minister knows that we have a crime plan because we have digitized the books at the police station. That is, a, that is evidence of the crime plan. That's like watching football now, Senator, Senator Sophia Fraser Bins, I don't know if you're a fan, and say, yes, they have a, they have a France have a, have a method of play because they're kicking the ball. <laughs> kicking the ball is the least of what to design a method of play. But they said that we should go and read it. If we knew in 2018 that the World Cup was a crime plan, we wouldn't ask for it in 2019. If we knew the World Cup was a crime plan, we wouldn't ask for it in 2020. We'd have just wait upon the World Cup. But if the World Cup is the crime plan, it is going to be short-lived. This ingenious and untruthful communication. Let us look at some of the realities that we have historically when there is a World Cup. Let's look at some of it here. All right. The internet, they don't want me to tell you they want you, so I don't go up on the phone yet. We have to prepare, you know. We have to prepare. Let's go. Mr. President, in a clandestine and underhanded effort to gain the benefits of the World Cup, the government and the Prime Minister ignored all trends that crime was increasing since April of 20. 2022. Since April of 2022. I want to go back to the Prime Minister's budget presentation. And in his budget presentation, the Prime Minister said in March, murder was down by 5%. You remember that? Yeah. Now that we see this kind of political machinations, we have to wonder if numbers are being funged to make certain speeches sound good at certain times. But what happened in March, I said murder was down by 5%. Then, in April, murder was up by 1.8%. This silver bullet of a state of emergency was not suggested in April when murder was up. If it's even one life, they like to say. Then, in May, murder was up 6.5%. He says, no, hold the line. Wait upon the World Cup. Because if we wait upon the World Cup, Excuse when me. people are Mr. watching... Mr. President, Mr. Mr. President thank you. Of order. To Google this, thank you. Mr. <laughs> President, this is the third time to my recollection that the Speaker has imputed improper motives, not just to someone from the lower house, but to the Prime Minister of the country, and I think it is something that we need to put a stop to. It is improper. For example, he has said it's 35-5 uh, of your standing orders, Senator Scott Motley. It's stated there. So, Mr. President, he has stated, one, that the Prime Minister has indicated that the World Cup is a part of the crime plan. He has not stated that. He has also implied that the numbers have been forged by the Prime Minister, and more than anything else, that one. He has to be made to withdraw that. Twice he has said the numbers have been forged by the Prime Minister of this country, and that they are questionable. So, Mr. Chairman, Mr. President, sorry, 35-5 of the standing orders. All right, Mr. President, have you ruled? Thank Senator you. Senator Crawford. Yes, sir. Well, go ahead, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Well, just I'll give me a second. Senator Crawford. Yes, sir. My, my straight question to you is the use of the word. Mm -hmm. Have you accepted it? The use that of you what had word, used sir? The, the word that has been pronounced by Senator Campbell. The, the, the words that were used. The, the, the senator suggests being, that I was uh, impugning motive on the prime minister to say that the World Cup was a crime plan. No, the, the word. The second one is more. That, again, sir, I said if you are suggesting that the document that I read from the government was not satisfactory and sufficient and should therefore be relied upon the commission, should we also question those numbers? No, I Mr. I would never claim that. Sorry. No, Mr. I President. I don't think that they. All right, sir. Until it can be provided, can I continue, sir? No, Mr. President. 
No. Okay. That was the first time he said it. He said it just a minute ago as well. Sir, yeah, man, get the answer the, and we talk. Yes. Because I'll be And that is, that, is, that is what is being requested. And Thank that, you, sir. That situation. And when we get there, there, all right, we will see the forging. Yeah. That is happening. <laughs> Mr. President. Mr. President, the, the, time, the time being 1.20. I ask that the Senate be allowed to sit beyond 1.30 to complete the business of the day. The question is that the time being 1.20 that the Senate be allowed to sit beyond 1.30 to complete the business of the day. Those in favor? Those against? The ayes have it. Sir, I'll just quote some statistics for which many Jamaicans are aware of the impact of a World Cup on crime statistics. In 2018, Mr. President, the World Cup was June 10 to July 15, 105 murders and 90 shootings. This was 52 murders less than the equal year and equal period, 2017, June 10 to June 15, and also, sir, this was 66 shootings less than June 10 to June 15. So in the period, and, and you can write it down so you can check it, Not even one, but I soon come to that. So I, I, I see Matthew want to check it, so I'll repeat. The impact of World Cup on crime. World Cup 2018, between the periods June 10th and June 15th, Jamaica had 51, 52 less murders than equal year in 2017. They also had 50, 66 less shootings than equal year. World Cup 2014, June 10 to June 15, Jamaica had 87 murders compared to 116, 2013, same period. If I should do a quick mathematics, that is going to be 2107, that's about 30 less murders in that period. So to come in front of us to claim that there is some trend that exists in one week, Senator Bunting as an engineer, could you take a trend? from one week of activity and they ignore what happened in august town that went one year without a murder yeah. and they have not proposed a replication of august town but are proposing a extension of one week and they never have zero like august town yeah. when it failed in august town august town lambasted the government for their disinterest in what they employed in fact, the government have often claimed that the peace management initiative is of no real moment. I've heard the Minister of Security say, we spend so much money on community intervention, and yet crime is still up. If I should carry his... We have done it already, sir. You're sure, President? Ah. The, the, the speaker's time having expired may be granted a few minutes to complete his presentation. What is it? What's, what's, the, what's the question? The, the speaker's time having expired, can he be granted sufficient time to complete his presentation? Members should have heard the question. Those in favor? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. So we come back, Mr. President, to set in the foundation of my assumption of political gamesmanship being played at this particular point in time. The improper accusations are being made of the opposition as we were unaware that the game was declared. So we were not participating in the gamesmanship. But since March of 2020, there has been a sustained increase in murders in this country and the silver bullet of the state of emergency was not proposed until World Cup to then gain the benefits of World Cup. Gabby asked how convenient, let me tell you. April, murders was up 1.8%. If state of emergency was so great, it should have been called in April. However, another 130 Jamaicans died by me. By me, it was up 6.5%. Nobody said, let's put in a state of emergency. No, no chief technical director, no commissioner, no, no um, 
No, I'm not. Because I'm a part of one of them organizations then. They don't even have fees pay. And I accept that we have a difference in opinion. If the PSOJ and the JMEA and the Craft Market and the Hegg Farmers Association and the Goat Farmers Association, if they have a different opinion than mine, fine. And if they want to express it, I accept that expression. But do not feel that I don't have a right to my own opinion as well. I have a right to my own opinion. So when I hear Senator Rodriguez going to say, how dare you go against the police and you don't know as much as the police. Ninety odd percent of the Jamaica people said they had no confidence in the commissioner. Why can't I be one of that ninety odd percent? So what I'm saying is that you move again, that in June it was up one percent. In July, it was up 1%. In August, it was up 4%. In September, it was up 8%. Yeah. Nobody called a state of emergency to save at least one life. Nobody said, oh, let us do it and risk it not showing up. Let us do it when the World Cup is on so that we can claim 70% in one week. What happened in August, in September? You know, I'm glad you laugh because I have a quote for you. you know, I have a nice quote for you. The commissioner said that in September there were 18 double murders and one triple murder. Why wasn't it called if it was so great? I see Senator Golden of good pedigree, Bruce Golden, is in agreement looking over with great agreement on me. Yes, attentively, and I enjoy it. I like that. Not disrupting me like some other senators over there. The commissioner said, and I quote, in the month of September alone, there were 19 incidents of multiple murders, 18 double murders, a triple murder, amounting to 39 victims. The commissioner said that. Nobody mentioned in September, the whole October done. And it never come in till right before World Cup. When it is coming back down. Coming back down. <laughs> the police is saying that the trends were suggesting it's coming back down. But make a look again. In October, it was up another 7%. And it's not until I think what, the 15th of November, the silver bullet is being commissioned. Why the senators never write something in April? Why the groups? What them name the craft? Me and them, my friend. I write the craft policy. Why craft vendors never say in September we are demanding of the government? Why they never did that? I don't have a problem with the PSOJ because the PSOJ have a right to their opinion. But I'm saying to the PSOJ, I invite you to take a trip with me and go down to St. James and recognize that most police stations don't have a working police car. I will talk soon. I don't, I soon quote, man. Just wait, no man. Be careful. Don't show up yourself. Wait. You will have your time. You will have your time. I, but you know, can't come with me then, hold on. All right, I've been instructed. Make a look. I did some research, but all I said was that I invite the members of these groups, PSO, JJMEA, craft vendors, to come and make a do a tour, and we will see the cars. And if we see the car, we say, oh, I stand corrected, I see the cars. So what's wrong with the invitation to do a tour? You asked earlier, did you meet? Didn't they ask earlier, did you meet with John Brown, Mary Jane, and John Tom? So now we say, let's meet on a site. On a, on a point something. of order, Mr. President. On a point of order. Okay. The, the member is misleading one, the Senate. One minute. One minute. Mm -hmm. Senator Crawford, give me a minute. Yes, Mr. 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 President, the, the member of the Senate has misled his colleagues and, extension, and by extension the entire chamber and the country, and that comment must be withdrawn. The police stations in St. James have working vehicles that is impatient of debate. He must withdraw the comment or it must be struck from the record. Nothing, no gossip. All right, he'll have a chance to make him think, sir. Can't Until... Ruling, Mr. President. 
and I'm on my feet, so you must sit when I'm on my feet at the same no, time. No, but in fairness, in fairness, he had sat down, you know. Uh, uh, yes. So what, 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 what he's saying is that what you're saying is not correct. So but therefore you're no, saying no. that I'm he, saying he's lying. No, but I never said that. But if you listen to me, oh, what I'm okay, saying, you know. Make the ruling. What he has said is not really a point of order. Right. He has given what he considers to be correct information. Correct. But your information, he says, is not correct. You I'm, are saying it is correct. So continue and then yes. he, he can correct. No, no, sir. I'm not only saying my information is correct. No. I'm saying his information is incorrect as well. Because Maroon Town don't have a working vehicle currently. St. James? St. James. Maroon Town. I see him getting the information. Spring Mountain, Montego Hill, and Coral Gardens have one. Sometimes not working. All right, Mr. President, I'm going to now say that many entities in St. James don't have sufficient vehicle for them to execute there because I don't want it to be semantics. Okay, so I, I, I'm now saying that. Because sufficient is as important. Okay, all right. So I, I, I accept. I invite the PSOJ, the JMEA, the craft vendors to come and see that sufficient vehicles are not within the spaces. And therefore, all that needs to be done is not being done. I come back to the businessman. I come back to the businessman. I give a mason more black, more steel, more sand, more gravel, more cement, he make less house. And I shouldn't question why making less house. The things the JLP is trumpeting to be applauded for, they should be ashamed of that, oh, we spend more money. And you're getting less outcomes. Yeah. You're getting less outcomes. With much less money, Senator Bunting, as, 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 as Minister of Security, performed better than every single year. Every single year. And no state of emergency. We come again. We come again. Where was I again? They need an operation truck, etc. I will go further to show the lack of commitment which cannot be questioned. There was a position stated in 2017, I think November 2017. That position was the Office of National Security Advisor. Senator um, Brown, you remember the, 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 the Office of National Security Advisor? The current commissioner was brought in to, 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 to take up that. It says, the Prime Minister said, consistent with international be best practices, in other jurisdictions such as UK, Canada, US, India, Australia, and in the pursuance of a strategic national security management, a national security advisor is the principal technical advisor to the government. Who is that person? Since the commissioner left that post and became the commissioner, why we don't want to be consistent with UK, Canada, US, India, Australia, and all these other places? Who is that person? Now? If all is being done, the chief advisor to the government, the prime minister, and the, is, is missing. Is no longer in position. Is that a lie? We're going to show lack of commitment. CMAC. You know about CMAC? It is the crime monitoring, what is CMAC again? Oversight Committee. The chairman of CMAC. Senator Bunting, you need to hear this. The chairman of CMAC, I want some water. Then can't deny this. This is a quote. He says, the PMP has remained committed to CMAC since its inception. I quote, unquote. Distant. Like distant. A member of the PSOJ and the JMEA and all of those A's that exist. He then goes further to say, and I quote, the Minister of National Security over the last six months had essentially taken a policy position not to take part in the proceedings, but that has now been changed. 
commitment when you make a policy decision not to partake in the crime management oversight committee and then come to say you're asking for us to agree when you make yourself absent we now look into these things aren't we seeing what's happening when they say who is going to talk for the rights of the people who are murdered i don't understand that question because with all the states of emergency, more people have been murdered almost every single year. So when you come and then change in the circumference of reference, Senator Fraser Binz, you have two sons. I heard you had to remind some people before I came today that you have two sons. Imagine when they pass to Kingston College, they're going to carry home them book. When they pass to Kingston College, they're going to come now and say that, you know, I fail maths, but I pass um, indices. Is that sufficient? And when they say, what do you mean a fail, Matt? They say, well, in the part that I study, I pass it. That's why the government is coming to the country. The government is saying, we failed in the total of the nation. But the part that I study, we pass it in St. James. When Manchester is under siege. When St. Mary is under siege. When Portland now is getting 200% more than it used to get. The total number... And the government wants us to accept that they are a neighborhood watch. That in the neighborhood, it is all right. Not even the commissioner can come and say that in a part of Jamaica, I'm doing okay. Ignore the other parts. And we must accept and move forward. But I'm speaking also for the police officers. What about their rights? Who have been treated as, 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 as not just servants, but almost slaves. We don't forget the food that they used to get, the soldiers and the police, with millions of dollars being spent on porta potty. Why these things we're not reminding the country? That millions of dollars was spent on the rental of porta potty for an activity that they expected to last for years and should I buy the porta potty. We need to find out who rented those porta potties. We're going to come further again. They promised the police SOE pay. And Zoso pay to this day, none of them have gotten SOE pay and Zoso pay. Them tell me if you come today for to talk against that, their rights talk about that because what happens, Senator Brown, is that them get 10 hours per week for overtime pay when some of them are being asked to work 30 hours more. Because with all the state of emergency, no additional resources are not sufficient additional resources are being sent to man the states of emergency. Knowing that the state of emergency is the intent of the government, it has not been a part of the discussions for the pay of the police moving forward. The Minister of Finance ignored that part of the crime plan and have not put in that conversation that with what we expect of you, your pay should be different and increased. Why should we not speak to the police officers? Mr. So President, I call upon the groups asking for the extension of the state of emergency to do a study on the degree retention in the security force. My information is less than 10% of people who go in with a degree stay in that police force because they are feeling that they are being abused by the requests and requirements that are being made of them. You are doing everything for the police force and you are not doing that. The Prime Minister was blatant in saying one young man, 15 year old, was found with a gun. And he's going to make sure, or not he, come in a me have to be careful. They want to make sure that he's an example to all the other 15 year olds. You think so locking up a 15 year old for 15 years is a better example than making sure them have food when they go to school? Because right now the schools are saying they cannot feed the children. We have more people in Jamaica who are in the pool for gangs than the pool for the police force. Because within our education system, 28% of them is getting what the police force require. So every time 100,000 people do that, only 28,000 can go to the force. The other 72,000 is more for the gang. 
What have they done to change that? The Minister of Education go on the radio to say she knew it was insufficient. But they have to go and make it work. And you're going to tell me that you have done sufficient? You don't listen to the radio, so you don't know. You listen to every station? Oh, you want to talk about that? She also said... No, but she don't listen to every station, so I know. She also said... Because you're busy, you're, you're, you're in charge of the whole foreign affairs. You are in charge of foreign affairs. I couldn't expect that you are listening to local radio all the time. You have to listen to foreign radio. She also said, she also said, this is the example of disingenuous communication. No, no, man, may I talk today? Disingenuous communication in an effort to mislead the country. The Minister of Education stated that she gave a big number. Is it true? Most Jamaicans never see these big numbers before. It's so enough. She said that she gave 8.8 .8 million for the four months for 907 children. A person who don't know the value of money said, what? I see on the internet, them start to say the principal is a thief. I see them saying that there needs to be an investigation. Simple mathematics for 8.8 .8 million for 907 children for 70 days is $121. I mean. $121 a day. $121 a day. Mm. A day per meal. You sure you don't have this calculator? Well, I want me, let me get him. One meal. One meal. So instead of saying that it is true that 121 cannot purchase a meal, she get further to say that it is not to make a profit. How can 121 make a profit? A regular small food is $250. Mm. If they were making 102% profit, everybody would have to sell small food. It can't buy nothing. nothing and we wonder why in our non-traditional schools, there is a recruitment pool of persons not showing up for school. And you say you've done everything? We don't see sufficient evidence that you are doing anything to make we don't need a state of emergency 2027. We don't see no evidence that you are doing anything to make we don't need a state of emergency 2030. And so when you come and ask for 30 days, how many 30 days? 46 this time? How many 46 days? We can't support this one. We have supported many. We have bite with them. We have class with hands. We have closed with eyes. We have felt the pain of all the young men that have been scraped up. Most recently, 300 and odd was scraped up. The leader of the opposition spoke to it. The vast majority could not have been charged. Right now, in St. James, I think it's one in detention. Don't worry yourself. I'm the backup. You see when time um, Gabby, yeah, me at the back. Yes, I'm the back. I am talking for Gabby today. Me I talk for Gabby. Yes. Put me in, coach. Put me in. Yeah, man. Me listen, man. I win and never lose. So therefore, no matter what, Tivoli Garden next, I'm down there. Put me in, coach. Defending the people. I am defending that person who wants to keep a party this Christmas. Who haven't been able to earn nothing throughout the whole period that you had locked down this country and locked down St. James. I want to say that the person who wants to look for him anti shouldn't need a letter. Yeah. And he's not a criminal. I want to say that without adequate lockups, you shouldn't carry the regular man and go lock him up with the worst of criminals for two, three, nine or four days. And when we remember Mario Dean, mm -hmm. I tell you, we don't, like we don't remember history. Mario. He went in for a spliff yeah. and he came out dead. Yeah. The people who are jumping up are unlikely to suffer that, that, that this, 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 this indignity. That, that indignity. I 
man, all I'm saying, please accept that it is possible that outside of political gamesmanship, because there's no political game. What stupid analysis is that we are seeking political gain by not voting for it, when everything is going against us politically by not voting for it? If there's any evidence of conscience, it is now. It is now. The funders and possible funders have said, no, do what we say. We propose. The people in many communities are saying, we want more police, we don't understand, are they going to move? And we are saying that there is a court ruling, a constitution, and a reality that we still feel that this is not necessary. So to claim that we should be ashamed, that's why I make sure I come today in a Senator Bounty. Come never have a care. But me want everybody to know I am not ashamed. I was, but I would have convinced him to don't vote as I don't bother. I don't want a person to feel. I sat the last time and take that lambasting from the president about if we are elected. I'm appointed to do a job and I took an oath on that job. Yes. And I'm standing up for those who are of the feeling that more should be done for the, the cameras, the Jamaica Eye. That should be in the letter. The Jamaica Eye, not even government buildings don't have Jamaica Eye. More should be done for the body-worn cameras. More should be done for the anti-gang legislation. The most recent that we all forget is out by the land that was being sold, accused to be. No, in, in, in Portmore, in Clifton. It was said in this house that it was a gang that they say was associated or supportive of the People's National Party. To this point, is one person get arrested? Why the anti-gang not kicking to make this person then now get in the rest of the gang? From the Prime Minister's constituents. Watch we again now. More need to be done with education. More need to be done with spending on the less fortunate. More need to be done with community policing and part program. More need to be done with the violence interruption and the engagement of things like the, 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 the TMI, the, the, the PMI. More needs to be done with intervening in the communities. More need to be done in finding the 200 car that was supposed to come for the police and it still don't come. The letter should have said that. The bandulu. And you are telling me you are doing all that you can. Mr. President, I say again, having given multiple yes, that today is a definite no.